Hello YouTube, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake and welcome to another Photoshop CC tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you a couple of different ways that you can sharpen your images. So let's go ahead and get started with this uh, photograph that I took at last year's KatsuCon. Alright, so this is already a pretty good photograph, but it can be a little sharper since it was taken in a flat profile specifically for post-process editing. So. One of the first techniques we're going to use for sharpening is the unsharp, uh, sorry, not the unsharp mask, the high pass filter is going to be the first technique we're going to use. So we're going to duplicate our layer and we're going to then set the blending mode to overlay. We may change this later, so um, don't worry about committing to that. We're going to go over into edit, image adjustments, and desaturate. That already makes it pop a little more. And then we're going to go under our filters and we're going to select other and use the high pass filter. As you can see, when you scale this back, it doesn't do anything. But the higher you go, the more impact it has. We're going to keep it somewhere in the middle here. Just use whatever your photo needs to bring out the sharper details that you want. And we're going to go ahead and commit that. And you can see that it makes a difference. And we're going to change the blend mode to soft light. All right, so this is just one way that we can non-destructively improve the sharpness of our photo. And this is my preferred overall method for sharpening photos. But we're going to look at two more real quickly. We're going to go ahead and we're going to look at using um, smart objects and smart filters here. So we're going to convert our base layer to a smart object. We're going to go to filters and we're going to select smart sharpen. And we're going to apply some basic smart sharpen settings to our photo. And you can just adjust these uh, sliders to whatever you need. Um, but I've already made my choices here. And we'll go ahead and commit those. And as you can see, it does make the photo sharper, especially in the eyes, nose, and lips. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to do one more other type of sharpening. And that's going to be using the unsharp mask, as most of you are familiar with from previous versions of Photoshop. Now, the unsharp mask and the high pass filter will work in most versions of modern Photoshop going back as far as CS3. Smart Sharpen is something that's uh, in newer incarnations of Photoshop. So if you're not using um, CS6 or CC, I don't expect you to have that option. So we're going to go ahead and uh, deselect the Smart Sharpen here. And we're going to go ahead and go back up to Filter. And we're going to apply another Smart Filter here for Unsharp Mask. And we're just going to bump this up as needed and apply it. And you can see the difference that that makes. And again, these are all methods for editing non-destructively. Now, again, I prefer to use the high pass filter mode just because I feel I have more control over that. And I feel it gets me the results I need. And I can also non-destructively remove any of it that I don't need by creating a, a mask here. And then I could just paint away anything I don't think I need. But overall, I'm most satisfied with the results of using the high pass filter method of sharpening. So that's the one that I recommend using. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, new Photoshop CC tutorial videos every Thursday. Uh, if you feel this one was a little short, uh, I apologize, but some people prefer that. And again, this isn't something that's very involved to do or very difficult, but it's a request that somebody had, so I thought I'd show it. And it does go into um, the current trend of videos that I'm doing with regard to retouching. All right. Like this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, share it, and I guess I'll see you guys next week.